Ooh, cities in the blue. Calling the cost of the project's realization borderline criminal and its scope outrageous at least, despite very vocal opposition, the Floating Cities project does not appear to be slowing down anytime soon. According to Ombudsman Olaf Wolkstrom's latest statement on the issue, we are fully aware of the gravity of the situation and the strain this puts on the people in these trying times. Nevertheless, with the reformation projects abandoned, our options are becoming increasingly limited. We must now either all pull through this together or join Stockholm beneath the waves. Uh, when questioned on the rumors regarding the ombudsman's modifications of his personal yacht, Mr. Wilkstrom refused to comment, pushing further regarding the satellite photos of another floating city found near the Indian Ocean. Mr. Wilkstrom chose to terminate the interview when later reaching out to a source that has chosen to remain anonymous. So they were upset that they were making floating cities? I guess. Um, 128 left solder Talj under cover of night. One of the men, Jens, had already busted the case on before the port authority caught on. Sailing has been smooth so far. Had the crew run a check on our supplies. Turns out Olaf did worse than just half ass it. We need to reach shore and restock. Crew's been getting too chummy with Olaf's girls, and the big man's none too happy about it. Asked me to intervene as if it's my damn job. Should reach shore soon. No sign of dry land yet. Water levels must have risen much higher than expected. No response on the radio either. Casper told me the fruit looks like they're going and the meat tins aren't looking good either. Olaf got into a fight with one of the men over Han, apparently caught him trying to hoard supplies from the women. Sailors still gave him a thrashing. We'll need to make it to land soon, stretch our legs, get this whole mess of a crew back in order. Interesting. Funny thing is, is I went back up to the level that we were just at, and I got attacked by a rat again. <laughs> Wonder how quickly they're respawning. I don't know. So we need a key code for that. So yeah, we gotta go upstairs. Just checking to see if there's anything underneath the stairs. No, I was thinking the same thing. Rat. Oh, my spear broke. Ow. Hold on, I gotta switch spears. Alright, got my other spear out. Got something here. Oh, I got the key card. Sweet. Use one car jack. Four. I'm tipping this over. Oh. Can I have my jack back? Nope, it just gets pushed to the side. Well, you gotta save it. Box Dibs. back here. Got a note and a crate. The crate just had supplies in it. I found a food crate. Great. Nice. Just what I needed. Um. Okay, I don't see anything else in here. So what's the note say? A uh, hand came to me in the middle of the night, spent some time here. She knew exactly what to say to get me on her side, just like a sailor's wife would. Didn't like it when I pressed on about it. The woman know Olaf's losing control of the men in the ship fast. Bastard Olaf couldn't spare a damn ten tetanus booster, god damn him to hell. Casper, you and your bastard knives. If I make it through this, I will turn you into shark food. Can't keep the food down. Water hurts going in. Caster's been making deals even in the brig. Lockjaw hit me when I was walk talking the men down. Before they decided to let Olaf overboard, no way for a man to go. Fever's been climbing steadily up. Feeling like I'm burning. The ship is drifting. I know that much. No one on it that can steer it. When I close my eyes, I'm dreaming I'm back at Stockholm with Purr. We swim through the streets like fish, darting in and out of broken storefronts. Getting cold. Dark. Fever's coming down. Where's Han? That's the, that must be the captain. Captain got lockjaw. Mm -hmm. It goes up more. I want that couch for my, use one green key. I want that couch for my boat. Oh, it goes up again. Requires one bomb. <laughs> I guess that must be what the wires are for. 
Oh, that must be what the bullet's for, too. I bet we take the gunpowder out of it. Right. Miss me. Nailed him. I think we have to go down one more. Yeah. Another rat. Ow, that one got me. Intermediate lurker hunter. I think the key card's over here. Ding ding! Ooh, what do we got here? Got the green key. It's a nice library. Yeah, I kind of want it for my boat. I feel like something should be behind that painting, but it doesn't give you the option to do anything with it. Hmm. Okay, um, up for the green key. Sounds like another rat came out. Oh god, there it is. Ow. Fuck off. Where do we need to do the green key? Okay. Yeah, I think it was upstairs again. Yeah, here we go. I need to find some water. There's a toilet right there. Look at that big bathtub. I want this for my boat. Shouldn't be able to turn the faucet. Oh, dang it. You wouldn't happen to have any watermelon on, would you? A watermelon? I yeah. do not. I have fish stew. Does that give you water? Yeah, I think it does. Got that in one of the food buckets. Nope. Crap. Oh, great. You wasted my fish stew. Thanks. There's a crate over here. And a lighter. It uh, didn't have anything good in it. Yeah. Good thing there's an exit right there. Yeah, it just means I have to jump off the boat. It's fine, I gotta follow you anyway. I think I need to restock as well. I'm gonna drink all my water here that I have, and then, uh... Yeah, that's the problem I'm running into. Shark's back. Geronimo! Are you ready to blow stuff up? Yep. Uh, I would recommend moving. Ow! Did you I take damage from that? Yeah, I took I... damage from that. That cut half my health. I meant, like, a quarter <laughs> health. Scrap. Ooh, blueprint for the steering wheel! Blueprint for an engine! Nice. Sticky note. Balboa. Another note. And another note. Vasagaton Historian. We must have got all the notes. Aw, can't I go into this locker? It just needs a bolt cutter. We already have one of those. I want to honk the horn. Beep beep. Okay, so didn't you say there was a crate up there? There was, but I grabbed it. Oh, I thought you said there was another one up there. I thought there was, but there's not. It was just like a light. But there was a crate like halfway up there, which was up. Uh, just a little bonus for breaking the game, I guess. Let's see, what did they give me? Oh, Balboa 5456. That's the next uh, location. Wait, we have a recorder and two mechanical parts, though, still. What do we need those for? Must be extras in case we... But what's the recorder for? Recorders for playing the tapes. 
There are dry places still. Shut up, Maddie. That's not helping anyone, damn it. How do you turn this thing off? You shut up. I've seen them. There were plans, man. Just plans. Mock-ups. Nothing. How do you ever even run into a dry place here, man? The world's drowned. Not here, here. Further down south. Places where there's still land. Under the ice. Antarctica. All that. They made those places before the end. Stashed themselves away while the poor people drowned. Hey, you're just full of crap. No, man, I'm telling you, there was this guy, looked Chinese, found him drifting out in the middle of nowhere. He looked like he'd been lost at sea for weeks. Barely managed to string two words together before he gave up the ghost. Said there were three piece, or three places still, down south, powered by fusion reactors. We can go there, man, steer this thing down south. Hey, is that rock getting closer? No, no, no. Reuben, I was bitter when I left you and desperate. I thought the world was coming to an end, and you never said it, but you thought so too. Maybe you were looking forward to it, even. Perhaps that's why you stayed so strong. But you never told me that. You never told me your secret, and I would just see you disappearing further into yourself as the world sank. I saw the world ending with you, Reuben, and that was too much to bear. I'm sorry I ran. I know that now. Wolkstrom didn't have a clue. None of these poor fools do. After the captain went, they just drifted, aimless. Caught some passing ships, stole their food. It took them two weeks before they ran out and turned on each other. We're stuck against a mountaintop in the middle of the big, endless blue, just a handful of us. We're hungry and scared, but we can't stay here. We'll head out. Go as far south as we will go. Maddie says there are dry places down there. Find me if you can. You won't believe it, but I love you. Interesting. And now Balboa. Well, I guess you just find any last minute stuff that might be in the water and then we're good to go. Sploosh! Or are you just over there farming rats? Farming rats. <laughs> I heard them getting their ass kicked, so. I was really expecting there to be like a big rat and then we had to shoot it. But it made a lot more sense when I saw that we needed a bomb. Granted, uh, if we only found one bullet, I don't know how that bomb was that powerful. Yeah. Like, was it an artillery shell that we found? You're the one who saw the bullet. Was it an artillery shell? Because <laughs> uh, that might have enough gunpowder in it to make a bomb. I can carry it on my hand. Oh god. <laughs> da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na, na na Where do you want to put it? The shark? Oh, there's a head in here already. You could just stack it. Yeah. It worked. I hatched it. Okay, and then I need my ropes. One, two, three, four. Okay. I don't think it's enough still, but I've got five engines. <clears throat> so the way I want to do it is we would need 11 all together, which means I'd be able to have 5 on either side plus 1 in the center. So I'm going to remove this. Oh, assuming that it's one block wide, I actually don't know what this is going to look like. Holy shit, they're big. Uh -oh. Like 5 blocks wide? Oh, well, that's unfortunate. How big are they? Um, pretty large. I'm trying to figure out how this works. Do I need to move these boxes, or...? Yeah. Okay, how do I do that? You have to take everything out of them and then hold X to remove it and put it somewhere else. Oh, fun. Oh, man. Oh, you're gonna have to fuel each of these engines individually. Man, I don't have the slightest clue what I'm doing. I sure hope I have it pointed the right way. What does that do? Oh, you can swap directions. Yeah, and it says right there, one engine for a hundred uh, platforms. It's fire powered. You need planks. That's unfortunate. Oh, 
Okay, so it does fit like that. The question is, how now if it's two by two? I can put four of them down for now. Ooh, am I gonna wanna space them out? Oh shit, I am gonna wanna space them out. Right, because it has to go in the water. So now the question is, how would I do the piping thing that you do? Oh, I forgot that we're at that island still. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. You can fall through where that's at, too. Uh, so you gotta be careful. Interesting. Okay, so dead center would be here. Which is exactly where I want to put the wheel. Oh, wait. No, the wheel's facing the wrong way. You pipe them all together, or...? That's what I think. I just have to figure out how. Oh, that was weird. Pipe goes all the way down. Oh, interesting. This is like a rudder. Alright, I don't see anything in regards to... funneling them together, so I guess that's not really a... problem. I think we made some pretty good progress, though. We've got the engines. Um, only one of them is fueled, and apparently we need a buttload more wood. So I think I'm going to focus on getting more tree planters. So that I can just get, like, a, an army of wood supply going. I need a perpetual, perpetual wood supply. Um, There's a bunch of stuff underneath the raft, um, as far as resources go. I already yeah. found the uh, drop box. I will gather whatever I can find before logging out, because we'll set sail again, I'm sure, when we all log back in. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, no, pretty good. It's, I mean, sucks that we kind of lost a lot of stuff, but at least this save file is in a pretty good position that we're not, like, totally screwed. Yeah. I don't know when we're going to find those regular large islands again, though. 